But this cable network under the NBC News banner is just outrageous. We saw what Sharpton did last week. He, he's dishonest in the way that he presents material on the air. We saw the Bashir attack on, on Sarah Palin, which was just off the chart. He got fired because of it. And now we see Schultz taking a quarter of a million dollars from labor unions that he espouses on the air. And I mean, I, I'm going, what is going on over there? Well, to me, the issue with Ed Schultz, I wouldn't put him in the same category as the others you mentioned, is disclosure. If it had not been for a website that brought this, uh, these figures out, we would not be talking no, you about couldn't, it. Ed, look, Howard, you couldn't do that on the Fox News channel. I submit you couldn't do it on CBS or ABC News. You could right. not take that kind of money in any capacity, whether you're a commentator, a janitor, and you can't do it. But it, 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 over there, look, this is what I think would, should happen. And, and I hope Comcast is listening. Comcast is a parent company. Just make MSNBC an entertainment network. <laughs> Take, no, I'm not, no, no, no. Take it out of the news realm. You want to make your money, make your money. You want to be a left-wing network, fine. I don't have any beef with that. But you're not a news network. You're an advocacy network. So take it out of the news banner, put it on the entertainment band. Oh, my goodness. I think my head is going to fall off from the irony. No, but Bill, how do you not realize this? I mean, you set it up so it's the most obvious thing imaginable. It's just entertainment. It's entertainment. It's, quote, out of the news realm. Out of the news realm. You're not news. You're not news. It's a left-wing group. Just, just call it entertainment. Call it what it is. That is all true about Fox News minus left-wing and add right-wing. Okay, everybody knows that. Sean Hannity, the biggest partisan hack that's ever been on TV in American history or in human history. Um, uh, what, you're going to sit there and tell me that you, O'Reilly, are not conservative? Is that what you're going to tell me? I mean, you name the person on Fox News, the only somewhat objective people on Fox, and they're still not even fully objective, uh, Chris Wallace and Chef Smith. Everybody else, wall-to-wall conservatives. I mean, Tucker Carlson, um... What's her name? Elizabeth Hasselbeck in the morning. Steve Ducey, Brian Kilmeade, the biggest right wingers in the country. So want to play this game, Bill? I could play it. Why don't you guys get out of the newsroom and it'll be fine. Just admit you're not fair and balanced. And here's the thing. MSNBC at least admits that they're progressive because they have the whole lean forward thing and they, they're self-described as progressive, right? So they're more honest about it. Fox pretends like they're straight news. They say, we are fair and balanced. We care about the facts. We're high-minded. And just the fact that Bill O'Reilly has this inability to realize that his network is even conservative shows you that he's so much less objective than the people on MSNBC. And by the way, just to be totally clear here about MSNBC, yes, MSNBC is basically the Democratic wing of a news outlet, okay? They do propaganda for the Democratic Party. However, they are much more factual than Fox News, who does propaganda for the Republican Party. But almost everything the Republican Party says ever is false. So yes, you tell more lies, you are less accurate. MSNBC is more accurate, even though they are doing the Democratic uh, Party's work. And then CNN has their own problems as well with their neutrality bias, where you always call it 50-50. But uh, look, Bill, the only way that uh, anybody should agree to say MSNBC is just entertainment, call it what it is, is if Fox does the same thing on the right. And we know you're not planning on doing that, so hush up.